Hey everybody, it's Thursday and uh, getting ready for the weekend. I can't wait for you and your family uh, to join me and our worship team and our campus pastors as we are online again uh, this weekend, you know, um, uh, for the foreseeable future until we hear otherwise, we're gonna be online with everything. And, and so that's for this weekend, Saturday at five o'clock, we'll be live streaming. And then Sunday, 9.30 and 11.15, we'll be streaming. Um, and then just so you know, and I know that we've sent this out, but just so you know, there are so many opportunities for you and your family, your students, your kids, uh, regeneration, uh, re-engage Bible studies and, and class type stuff. We all have that online. So in this email, make sure you go and click on uh, whatever is appropriate for you, whatever you're trying to find uh, opportunities to connect and grow in your faith. Uh, make sure you also uh, check out our serve opportunity for this weekend. Uh, we're going to be collecting snacks and stuff for healthcare professionals. And so there's going to be more of that in the e-news. So make sure you uh, get to one of our campuses and drop off a snack. It's going to be safe. All you got to do is just drop it off and nobody will touch anybody or touch anything. Actually, there'll be bins out in the front. Um, just, just know that we're trying our best to serve our community as well as serve you. And so I want you to take advantage of the serve opportunity that we have coming up as well as serving your neighbors. Just serving your uh, friends or coworkers or uh, friends at school, uh, drive-by birthdays, you know, whatever. Just let people know that they're loved and not forgotten. And, and then going back to the online things, please, student ministries, if you have uh, junior high or high school, middle school, high school, make sure they're on the live Wednesday night deal or children's ministry. Unbelievable stuff that we're putting out there. And then, of course, the devotions that you're getting every day from our staff. And today, I uh, hijacked the uh, E! News so that Thursdays can be reserved for me to just give you a little bit of information of, of some things that are going on and, and remind you about the weekend. Uh, it's our last weekend in the series, Yahweh, and I am so excited. It's going to be uh, Jehovah Shalom, God is our peace. So it's going to, I think it's going to be a good message. So make sure you tune in for that. And also this weekend, all the Frisco churches that are my friends, a ton of us uh, that are going to be uh, getting together, not getting together, let me rephrase that, but through prayer, we're going to be getting together this Sunday night at 7 o'clock p.m., and we're going to pray for 19 minutes, okay? We're going to pray for 19 minutes, COVID-19. We're going to pray for 19 minutes, and I want to encourage you to gather with your family, or if you're by yourself, maybe uh, get on uh, uh, Google Hangout or, or Zoom or FaceTime with somebody, and pray over our country, pray for our leader, actually our world. Um, uh, our world leaders and, and the countries that are totally suffering, of course, you know about China and Italy and Spain and some of the other European countries that have been hit really hard, as well as our own country. Um, pray for our leaders. Pray for uh, the healthcare professionals and first responders. I was on the phone, FaceTime with the assistant chief of uh, fire in Richardson's, my good buddy, Gene Center, who leads our first responders group, just asking him about what's going on and, and how can we serve and, and how can we help and so forth. So we're gonna pray for them as well. But this Sunday, if you can, at seven, you don't have to do it at seven, but that's kind of the designated time we're asking everybody to go before the Lord on behalf of our nation and on behalf of our churches, spiritual leaders, nonprofits. And let me just say to the businesses that have been affected, and I know they're passing uh, some help, some bills in Congress to help us and to help our, our nation. But, but can I just tell you, I talked to business leaders today, owners of their business, and it is hard. It is hard right now, restaurant owners, um, people who have been laid off, waiters or waitresses that depend on this job or the job that they're in. And so 
uh, our heart goes out to you. And so Sunday night, pray for those in our country that have been affected by this. And of course, those that have been affected with the coronavirus, uh, praying for healing for, for them, uh, those that are in the hospital. Um, there's so much to pray about, so much to pray about. And so think about that ahead of time before you, before we get to Sunday, don't just gather and say, Oh, we're going to pray, but have a little plan. And I'm going to send you in this email, some uh, possibilities for prayer. Okay. So be looking for that in the body of this email. And uh, so join us, join us for that. Now, before I, before I end this, I want to read to you Psalm, or not Psalm, uh, Romans. I've been reading the book of Romans uh, the last uh, few weeks. And I want to read chapter 8, not the whole chapter, but starting with verse 35. One of my favorite chapters in the Bible, and I know I say that a lot, but, but they're, they're so good, right? Can anyone ever separate us from Christ's love? Now, he's going to answer that. It's kind of a rhetorical question, but he's going to answer that in verse 38. But can anybody separate us? Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? That's a good question. And the answer is no. There is nothing. We're going to read that in a minute, but there's nothing that can separate us. And he goes on to say in the very next verse how applicable this is for us today. Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity? or are persecuted, or hungry, or destitute, or in danger, or threatened with death. Verse 37, no, despite all these things, and we may have calamity, and we may have trouble, and we may have persecution, and we may be destitute, or in danger, or hungry, but he says, despite all of these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And the very next verse, verse 38, and I am convinced that I want you to think about your life. I want you to think about your circumstances. I want you to think about, you know, you're with your kids all day and, and you're having to interrupt your work schedule and you're rearranging you and your uh, spouse are trying to uh, figure the timing and the schedules all out. I just want you to think just for, just for a second. I want you to let this sink in. This is Romans 8, 38. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. So be encouraged today that he loves you. And even though we're facing some difficult and crazy times and, and it, you know, there's confusion and there's, I mean, so many thoughts and so many things going on, but just know that you are loved today by God Jesus has revealed that love by what he's done for us on the cross. And so I want to pray blessing over you today. Join me, would you? God, I thank you for your love for us. I thank you that, that nothing, not my sin, not the mistakes, not calamity, not hunger, not anything can separate us from your love. And even though we are walking in uncharted territory, at least for this generation, even though we've never walked in this, this season before, I pray that you would overwhelm us with your love and grace, overwhelm us with your protection and with your provision. We love you. We thank you for, for what you are doing in us and what you want to do through us in this season. Let us be the light of the world as the church. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'll see you this weekend, Saturday or Sunday. God bless you guys.